All right. God man or con man, whatever you want to call him, uh, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev. So he has been hospitalized. Uh, apparently, he had uh, some bleeding in the brain. He had a headache for almost uh, one month, four weeks. And uh, he just kept ignoring it. And eventually, it seems it became so bad that he had to be hospitalized. And uh, for a man who was promoting Ayurveda and uh, what Hindu mythology and healing from the chakras and the earth and all that. And uh, what happened? He finally had to go to modern medicine, right? Yeah, you talk about Ayurveda, oh, that is the only way, not this chemicals and science. Oh, the earth and chakra and Hindu mythology and the powers of Shiva and the cobra and all that dancing he was doing on stage and holding the cobra like this and... Uh, what happened? Couldn't go to the cobra and couldn't go to Lord Shiva and Lord Ganesha and perform a miracle there. Why the gods could not heal you? Huh? What about Ayurveda? Ayurveda could not heal you. Why you have to go to Apollo Hospital? See, this is not an anti-Hindu or... Uh, this is not a video to bash up a man who has achieved and accomplished so much. Is there good with Sadhguru? Yes, absolutely. He is doing good for a lot of people. And I prefer Sadhguru over most of the godmen. Like that guy from Pitanjali, what? Baba Ramdev. He is a bloody crook. Sadhguru is hundred times better at least. But, you know, when a guy mixes religion with commercial endeavors and money, it becomes a little hard to take the person seriously. You are commercializing religion for your benefit. He's worth, I think, some 60, no, 100 crores or something, or 1,000 crores, I think. Uh, see, I'm not, I'm not jealous. Uh, he's successful at what he does. There are many uh, Christian evangelists, Muslim preachers, various religions. These guys make money. They even ask money for a, like Christian, many Christian preachers ask their followers to give them, donate money because it seems Jesus said that he should buy a private jet to do God's work. Private jet, costing 380 million, 500 million. And uh, the best part is these guys, religious guys like Joel, you know, Joel Oystein or something. They, they are, revenue is tax-free because it's supposed to be religion. So yeah, these people put on this facade like Jay Shetty, Sadhguru and all that. See, Sadhguru's business registration, being an Indian is registered in the US. Ask yourself why. Okay. So he's not a saint. He See, and if you see Sadhguru's history, he was a normal guy normal. He became this guru, this great wisdom-filled Buddha-like person after realizing where the money was. So he's not a holy man or god man or I wouldn't say he's a con man but he is a businessman. Okay. So, and he plays to the tunes that the audience likes. He gives them the bullshit Kool-Aid that they like. He commercializes on Hinduism. He'll speak of Chakra and Lord Shiva and the Cobra and he'll do the dance and yoga and... In fact, uh, I told you in my video before, I got one guy from... who was handling the PR for Sadhguru in Dubai. He called me up and said, uh, could we, actually, this is not bullshitting, could we have an uh, 
could you get us contacts or connections to introduce the Sheikh of Dubai, okay? He would like to meet up with him and to discuss how they can do an event or something and collaboration. So, imagine. And Sadhguru does not come cheap and he does not come for free. All his appearances are very commercial. In fact, you must have seen the video, no? He went and stayed in celebrities' houses, Will Smith driving a scooter, coming in a helicopter. All this is not of a holy man. This is a businessman. Okay. And the bullshit that he gives, see, India is 80% Hindus. And then you have the dumb fuck Goras, some of them, who believe in Eastern mysticism. They want something very unique. That's why when a Gora comes to you, Namaste, Namaste, and they'll wear an orange thing, they'll put a tikka and they think they're spiritual. And they'll keep a few Hindu gods and sit in the lotus position and Namaste. The chakras have to be aligned. Yeah, put the chakra up your ass. Yeah. Uh, the vibrations of the earth with uh, what? Durga Ma and Lord Shiva and Lord Ganesh. There are some dumb fucks here also. Goras who come to, they, they are preaching Hinduism and yoga for cash. And then they mix it with the sexual tantric healing. Google search on YouTube, uh, tantric healing, uh, sexual, just type it there, Ko Pangang, K-O-H, then space, P-H-A-N-G-A-N, G-A-N, I think, it's an island. They're teaching Hindu mythology with sex. Hmm. Kama Sutra. Yeah. So this kind of bullshit uh, exists everywhere. So here you have Sadhguru giving people the Kool-Aid of bullshit. Ayurveda and this, and he sells, he sells merchandise where they make a lot of profit. Yes, he has a lot of wisdom, I will agree with you. Yes, I have listened to many videos of his. But the only part where I started to lose interest and respect is when he aligned his loyalty with Prime Minister Modi to start promoting Hinduism. And he even started, uh, what do you say, the, uh, you know, making fun of science to give legitimacy to Hinduism and Hindu mythology as reality. And that is why, if you see, he doesn't go for interviews, He's, he loses his school. Obviously, because he's not a god man, he's a normal man, a businessman, and he gets pissed off. So this video is not to be happy that he is in hospital or he's dying. Or I don't take any pleasure in someone else's pain or sorrows or misery. But rather, what I want to, what I want you to think, this man was promoting Ayurveda and Hinduism can heal and the chakras and the essence of the Mother Earth will give you health and all that. Why didn't he go to the you know, scientific principles of Ayurveda to heal his brain hemorrhage? Tell me, why didn't he go to the Hindu gods to perform a miracle? Why? Gods were busy, sleeping. They had other things to do. Why didn't he use Mother Earth with the vibrations to heal him and the planets and all that bullshit? Why did he go to Apollo Hospital with the, the most expensive hospital, with the most expensive treatments? Why did he go there? Tell me. I'm asking a legit question, right? Yeah, because he's a... A bullshitter who gives nice sounding words. And yes, people fall for it. People like, Om Jai Jai Jai, Om, 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 all that they'll say. He makes money out of them. 
Remember, religion is his business. Okay? The guy is not transparent. The guy has secrets. And is a very smooth, smart and savvy businessman. Once again, remember, I'm, I'm telling you that he has done good for people. He gives them good advice. But after his collaboration with Modi, it has been more on pro-BJP and uh, you know, he wants to give the Hinduism and uh, you know, that political twist that supports and is in line with what Modi does, which is nothing wrong. Only thing he will show that he is neutral. And the part that I get irritated is when he brings Hindu mythology, which is nothing but myth. None of the Hindu gods are real. None of them exist. They are all man-made. You can't prove any one single god, any religion. Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, none of the gods are real. Prove it and show. Can you prove it? No, you can't. See, end of the day, a holy man, a man of God, dr using a helicopter, a nice racing bike, going to the VIP events, staying in VIP hotels, traveling first class, okay, eating in five-star uh, hotels. What God man? Come on. You have to be a dumb fuck to... Uh, you know, ignore all this. Tell me, had it been any other religion, you would have said, ah, that guy's a fraud. So it's okay if this guy does it. Double standards and a bias. That guy is just a businessman. He's milking it for all it's worth. And he's enjoying a good life. He's very successful, mind you. He is an amazing brand. You see his videos and his photographs, all very high production value. Very, very high. Don't think uh, this a simple man can afford. So, even if you see his photographs, tell me, isn't that a professional photograph? You didn't, don't think there was makeup and there was wardrobe and there was a studio and professional photographer and graphic designer to ensure his, you know, uh, profile picture was well edited. Come on, man. And the marketing and the online social media and videos and uh, all the ads that you see. Where are you? Which world are you? Hmm. So, you know, I hope he gets well. I wouldn't wish bad for anyone. He has not harmed anyone. But he bullshits, and people fall for his bullshit. So, like I said, he's not a god man. I wouldn't call him a con man. Yes, there are a lot of people who will call him a con man. I call him a businessman. Okay, and uh, I'm not jumping with joy that he's in the hospital, but I question, you made so many claims and so much of preaching. Uh, what? Ayurveda is the way and it heals and you should go natural and uh, you are talking of uh, gods and praying to them and Shiva and this and that and Cobra and all that drama you're doing on stage in front of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. Why your gods can't heal you, man? Some magic power God can do like this, no? Why didn't he heal you? Why you have to go under the knife? Hmm. They talk so much about God and religion and... But, in the end, God is busy. Very busy. He's in a... I, I used to say, God is in a nightclub. He's dancing. Can't hear you. They should have had some cow piss and to drink and cow dung to eat. That would have healed his, his hemorrhage or whatever. Anyway, 
That's all I want to say. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. Seriously, tell me where have I said anything wrong? Is he a con man? Is he a god man? Or is he a businessman? You tell me. All right. Shall so anyway. Love to hear your views in the comment section below. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. And yes, all my Hindu friends who would like to abuse me, please go ahead and abuse and give bad words to my wife and kid and all. And what will happen? You'll be blocked. So you can vent out your frustration, but that will be the only comment you will have. Rather engage in a proper intellect, you know, intellectual discourse. Give me scientific steps or logical reasons why you know you endorse the character. All right. All right. So this is what I have to say. I'm pretty sure many followers of his will be butt hurt. But then again, who gives a rat's ass? We can't face the truth. Truth hurts. All right. Good, bad, ugly. Comment down below. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Ciao.